Well, we've been talking about it since Monday of last week, and tonight was the night. We finally arrived to the ECHL All-Star Classic. More than 5,000 people flocked to End Market Arena tonight to see the full Ghost Pirates roster match up with the league's best. From the gameplay to the skill contest and every cheer in between, we had ourselves a night. Look at the atmosphere before puck drop truly was something to see. And the home club gave them more to cheer about in the opening minutes. Anthony Collins gets an open net on the backside. Collins just had a kid last week. He put Savannah up one. There were plenty of scoring opportunities all night at End Market. The All-Star team captain, Brandon Hawkins from Toledo, puts on a show to score this one. It was knotted at one. Later in the first period, All-Stars leading 3-1. Puck has worked behind the net. It's pushed to Kansas City's Max Andreev. A little hesitation, made it 4-1 after the first. Between the first and second period was the fastest skater competition. Sebastian Vidmar, the third skater for Savannah, 12.95. His speed gives the Ghost Pirates a goal to make it 4-2. Into the second, now down 5-1. Savannah makes it a game again. Up ahead to Ross Armour. Armour puts it on the top shelf above the goalie's shoulder. That attack continued. First try is going to be no good. It's picked up at the goal line. Out to Armour. Armour buries it. His second of the night makes it a one-goal game. Then the All-Stars would go on a bit of a run. Their captain, Hawkins, again. He gets a no-look pass. He'll have a clean look and score glove side. 8-4 All-Stars after two periods. In that period break, there would be two more contests. The hardest shot was won by Nolan Valu, 95 miles an hour off the twine. Ghost Pirates would win both in the break to make it an 8-6 game going into the final frame. The third was three on three, and there were a lot more goals. 15 between the two teams in the final period. When it was all said and done, 18 to 11 the final. Mitchell Fossier, a forward from the Atlanta Gladiators, was named most valuable player. We talked this game up all week about the experience. Here's Ghost Pirates head coach Rick Bennett after the game with more of what it did for his group. I just like the fact the guys were, were having fun, and I think that's, that's what this event is all about. And it looked like the guys on the other team there, on the All-Star team, were having a lot, a lot of fun too. So, again, it was, uh, it was well done. You basically just put this, put this behind you, but, you know, you have some good memories from it. And then you just, you know, we'll give the guys some time off, and then we'll get back to work. Don, it's rare to see these players in just, just nonstop fun mode. We'll see what it does for their second half of the season. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah, Very thanks, big Don. night. We'll be back in just a moment.